Hey guys, I'm back, okay? And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna do a few um, simple demos on elements, compounds, and mixtures. Primarily, we'll talk about mixtures. Okay, so here we go. Right here, we have sulfur. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't care where my finger is. This is sulfur, right? And sulfur, we know, is an element like that we discussed before. So if I take some sulfur, alrighty, and I put it in my watch glass right here, I'll show it to you right there. See? It's an element, right? It's a yellow powdery substance. Now, if I take some iron filings, which I have over here, alrighty, iron filings, okay. I scoop some out. And I put it in. Give it a little stir. We agree, right, that we have a mixture on our hands, right? Now the question is, what type of mixture is this? Alrighty. Okay. Now, if you said heterogeneous mixture, you're absolutely correct. Now, from our definition in class today, a heterogeneous mixture is one where the components, right, the things that make it up are not evenly distributed, okay? So we're gonna move on in a second and look at some other stuff. I got some water right here, okay? I'm gonna pour it in there, okay? So this is H2O, pure water. Now, if I took some, I don't know if you can see this, where my finger is, this is olive oil, all right? Olive oil. Okay, and I put it in the water, all right, bam, and I just give it a swirl, okay, I want you to look at that carefully, okay, see that? Now, at the top right here, as you guys told me in class, oil is at the top layer right there, and the rest is water, so if you once again you ask yourself, is this mixture, right? Is it evenly distributed, okay, right throughout with the components? You will say no, okay, because the oil, there's more oil, ratio of more oil up here, and there's a ratio of more water there, right? So once again, this right here would be a heterogeneous mixture. So you can have mixtures, right? Whether, it doesn't have to be things with water. You could have them with solids, right? But they're both, heterogeneous in nature. Okay. Now let's move on. Get another beaker. All right. You got some more water. Okay. Now this time, I'm gonna add some salt. Okay, remember in class you guys told me, right? I can add salt to the water and make a mixture, right? So let's do that. Okay. There we go. Bam. And bam. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a swirl. Okay. I'm swirling, I'm swirling, I'm swirling, and it's dissolving. Now notice, right? Okay. The components are evenly distributed. Okay, the salts basically nicely dissolved in the water. Okay. This mixture right here will be described as homogeneous or homogeneous, if, depending on your pronunciation. All right. So we have a homogeneous mixture here with the salt and water. We have a heterogeneous mixture here with the oil and water. We have a heterogeneous mixture here with the sulfur and the iron filings. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so that's heterogeneous, okay? Alrighty, let's try one more. 
Got another beaker. All right, move that out of the way. We have our water. Okay. And we have some sugar. All right, that I got from the lab. I'm gonna put some of the sugar into the water. Okay. And I'm gonna give it a swirl. Okay. Now I notice, right, that the sugar also is dissolving nicely in the water. Okay. I should be using my stern rods, but you know, it's okay. All right, so once again, right, if I compare these two, I see a distinct layer here and another layer over there, right? But in this one, right, everything is nice and uniformly distributed. If I took a sample from the top or took a sample from the bottom, right, the ratio of sugar to water will basically be the same. But here you can see there's more oil on the top and much less oil here, almost, almost none here, okay? So heterogeneous once again, and this will be a homogeneous mixture, okay? So here's what I wanna do now. I've got a question for you. Now this question is on an upcoming quiz, so pay attention. This was our um, sugar water solution. This is our salt water solution, right? So my question is this. I'm gonna put these two together, all right? So now I have three things here in this mixture. I have sugar, I have salt, and I have water, right? And they're all mixed together, right? Now, I'm gonna take some, see that? Some sand. Okay, and put it in there. Now, do you see anything at the bottom? While I'm staring, running, swirling. Okay, notice, right? If you see at the bottom right there, I don't know if it's, you can see it or not. See that stuff right there? That's the sand. The sand did not dissolve. It's still at the bottom right there. So this particular mixture would be a heterogeneous mixture. All right? Now, the question I have for you is this. If I were to try and separate out this, right, okay, with a funnel, okay, and a beaker, and filter paper, I'm gonna fold the filter paper, all right? Okay, I'm gonna a cone, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put it in here, bam, okay? My question is, if I took this heterogeneous mixture, right, and I poured it in here, what will be inside of this beaker right here? That's the question, all right? So I'm gonna leave that as basically a mystery. I want you to think and figure it out, okay? I have three things in here, okay? I have the sand, I have the sugar, salt, and I have water. So four things actually, all right? Including the water, which is the dissolving the sand and the sugar. I pour it in here. What will I get in the beaker? And what's gonna be inside of the filter paper? So that's, that's the question I'm gonna leave you with. All right, guys, take care. And always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Take care. Okay, guys, here's the answer. Let's go, bam. I'm pouring it in, pouring it in. Pouring it in, pouring it in. Okay. Now 
Now notice, right? You see that? It's all clear, right? Now I want you to think, what's inside here? What's inside here, okay? Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Notice clear alrighty and what's inside of the filter cup I'm trying to lean it so you guys can see you see that bam the sand all right okay now we're gonna talk about filtration and other separation techniques later on right but I just want you to notice what happened when I poured those four guys the water sand salt okay and the sugar into this guy right here okay the sand was trapped here right but notice what happened the water sugar salt all passed through okay so we'll talk about um filtration later on separation technique it separates by difference in sizes we'll talk about it later on okay all right take care guys hard work the sacrifice equals success take care